I was asked to deliver a couple of minutes, three to five minutes, um, as a message or two that could benefit uh, Hassan and Kala's newly married couples. So first of all, let me preface by saying Mazel Tov and um, give everybody that sees this uh, a bracha for a beautiful and successful life in every possible way. Uh, being asked to speak about marriage in any meaningful way for three to five minutes is a challenging endeavor, to say the least. Actually, I think that it may really be a helpful way of introducing the first thought that I would want to share with you, which is that, of course, speaking about marriage in such a short amount of time is not going to possibly capture everything that we need to understand and appreciate about how successful relationships go and how we cultivate and we develop them. And in the same way that we can appreciate that it's going to take a lot more than three to five minutes, we can appreciate that cultivating and developing successful relationship is not something that comes automatically. It's not something that is automatically present when we get married. And it's not something that's complete after Shana Rishona or even within a couple of years. And rather, the skillful way of looking at this is to see this as an endeavor of a lifetime. And not to treat marriage itself or the ultimate pursuit of successful marriage uh, strictly as a means of gratification of self. Uh, I want to get married because it's going to make me happier. Ultimately, marriage is going to be with experiences that don't necessarily make me happier. And so we have these two me's, these two people that are just individuals, eyes coming together and collectively developing, building, working together on cultivating this new entity called an us or a we. And it's only in the collective goal and the skillful pursuits, the efforts towards developing this we, this us, that marriage ultimately is going to be an ongoing, uh, has ongoing potential for reward and benefit. Otherwise, marriage can become something in and of itself that's an experience that has staleness or potentially more punishment than reward. So this is one thought that I wanted to begin by sharing. The overall outlook and appreciation of what we're looking to develop for ourselves. The second thought that I wanted to share is that every chasen and kala, whether they have thought about it consciously or they haven't, come into marriage with their own fantasies, their own ideas that they've held, that they've developed, or that they've even nurtured in that side themselves, hopes and dreams of what life is going to be like being married what life is going to be like with my significant other, who my significant other is, how I'm going to enjoy life as a result of being with this person. And one of the things that we encounter, perhaps one of the very first things that we encounter within the early, early stages of being in marriage is that of dashed dreams and hopes and fantasies. That ultimately reality is never quite going to match up to what a fantasy is. That's by definition what the word fantasy means. It's not reality. And so a chasen and kala over time, as they get to know each other and they get to know what actual lived, married experience is like, have a, to some extent a process of grieving or mourning the loss of those fantasies. This is a very important uh, thing to appreciate because it's only in the acknowledgement of the loss of, that, of those dreams that there becomes space available for this we, for these two people to come together and build something new together called a unit, called an us, called a relationship. So oftentimes couples early on experience this source as, as, as something tragic. Oh, but he's not what I thought he was. She's not exactly what I was expecting. Life is not what I thought it would be. Within that experience, which is painful, within that process of loss, is actually the very space that gets uh, available, becomes available for us to then cultivate this process of the we. 
as I started, may everybody experience success in the development of their we.